Yo, what up everybody, it's Theo Stewart, and today I am back doing another Do You Hate Me Yet video. Today I am talking about antagonists and villains and such. Because I like antagonists and villains, they are my favorite characters in books. I know I did a video last month about, you know, if I don't like your antagonist, I don't like your story. Still sticking to that. Um, but today I am talking about how your antagonist or your villain can be bad just for the sake of being bad. They don't have to be the hero of their own story. I know that's one of the things I hear all the time when people's like, I don't know how to write, you know, ant antagonists. And people's like, we'll write it as, you know, they're the hero of their own story or, you know, they're the protagonist of their own story and stuff. And I can see where that's coming from or whatever. I'm not saying that's stupid or anything. But I am saying that your antagonists don't have to always believe that they are the good guy. Some people that do bad things know that they're doing bad things and they are aware of it they just don't fucking care um straight up so when you're writing your antagonist you don't have to write an antagonist who thinks they're doing good um take my book for example i have two characters that a lot of people kind of see as antagonists azrael and darius um and i agree with both of them they are both pretty bad guys i like both of them um but you know i do see them as bad guys darius i do see as being a hero in his own mind he does think he's doing the right thing he thinks he's correcting the wrong he thinks he's doing this and that he's protecting people and he's trying to you know rule the land you know as it should be and not you know segregate between different races he thinks the elves are racist against everybody else because the elves always think that they are the smartest and should be in power. So he is kind of racist towards the elves, but he doesn't really say only demons can be in power just because he's a demon or anything like that. So he does have morally good direction um, with his ruling and stuff. He can be kind hearted. If you're not pissing him off, he can get along with you just fine. You know. He is kind of close with some of his family members. You know, he does have a lover. He's expecting a daughter and all this. So you see all these good qualities in him. But, you know, just the situation, he is a bad character in a sense because he is very controlling. He wants things done his way. Azrael, on the other hand, he is a sly, two-faced, you know, manipulating <laughs> motherfucker. And he, he likes playing both sides and he likes getting his way that way. But I don't think he would ever think that he was actually doing good. He, he thinks, you know, whatever he does is helping him. But as, like, a kingdom as a whole, no, he doesn't really care. Um, he is the only one that doesn't have, you know, oh, well, I'm doing this because of this. No, he's doing that because, you know, it's going to help him. He doesn't care about anybody else. Um, he even ha has uh, people do certain things in the first book or whatever that would go against any morally normal or conscious right person or whatever you know he has some shady things happen he doesn't care you know he thinks for himself and that is it and he will get whatever you know he wants done done just because it will help him so i could see Azrael as being a worser villain than darius Darius, I can see, being the protagonist in his own story, being the hero in his own story. Azrael was like, yeah, I'm a shady motherfucker, whatever. You know, he doesn't care. Um, so your antagonist or your villain does not always have to be the hero in their own story. You know, our real life situations, a lot of the terrorists or, you know, different people, I know some of them, you know, religious beliefs, so they think they're doing what's good. Others are just psycho and they don't care. Um, yeah, it's mental illnesses or whatever else, but they don't care. You know, they're like, yeah, I'm crazy, whatever, I'm killing you, type ordeal. That's the same way as your villains. Not always do they have to be the good guy. I do think that they should have an interesting story. Um, I don't think you should just make them one dimensional, you know, give them a motivation to do the bad stuff you know it doesn't have to be good motivation or whatever like i said azrael's just just because it helps him you know that's it so it doesn't have to be good or anything it's just as long as there is a motivation and it makes things interesting and they are an interesting character but 
they don't always have to be, you know, the good guy to them. You know, some villains and antagonists are bad just for bad sake. Do you hate me yet?